one of our scholars at Ward 8. Caprice came into higher achievement and her grades were C's and D's. Now, Caprice um, has some selective attitudinal issues. However, she's a very intelligent young lady and it doesn't take time to figure that out. And what I believe Caprice's problem was, she was looking at what everyone in her classroom was doing. She was looking at what was going around in her community and she thought, well, if nobody else is going to put forth their best effort, why should I? However, when she came to higher achievement, I think she saw hope for one of the first times. She's never vocalized this, but it's something that I see just in the ways her attitude has changed towards academics. Her academic behaviors have done a 180. And where Caprice was at D's and C's, after maybe second quarter, she had A's and B's. And they have stayed consistently A's and B's up until this point in time. I'm very proud of her academic uh, journey that she's taken, especially since most of it had very little to do with her ability. It had most to do with her attitude towards her academics. And because I think she sees hope in a future in education, she's actually putting her best foot forward. And I'm so proud of her for doing it.